I'm Deborah McKenzie with the latest headlines from BBC World News. On one of the bloodiest days in Syria's civil war, opposition activists say more than 200 people, including 40 women and children, were executed by government forces as they retook control of a rebel-held district in the city of Homs. A private funeral service has taken place in Delhi for the 23-year-old student who was gang-raped in the Indian capital. Earlier, her body was flown home from Singapore, where she died in hospital from her injuries. Senior politicians in the United States are holding last-minute talks to try to avoid what's become known as the fiscal cliff, tax rises and sharp cuts in government spending due to take effect on January the 1st. There's been a car bomb attack on a bus near Quetta in Pakistan's southwest. Several people were killed and many more injured in the last few minutes. One official is quoted as saying the number of dead has risen to 17. BBC World News.